There he goes. Bye, Mr. Elk. Bye-bye, baby. So what happened was we were doing basic car maintenance and things were going very well. We were about to put the spare tire on and he was going to teach me that. Um, but unfortunately, um, my car wouldn't start. So we had an issue with that. And um, now we've been driving around Greenville on the worst <laughs> street in America here on Woodruff Road. It's the worst. And now finally we have a battery, uh, a Duracell with a three year warranty. So I'm going to pop this baby on. Hopefully we'll be on our merry way so Dylan can spend some time with his fiance, who is lovely. Now the important thing, Jerry, is not to advertise to people on campus that I know how to do this stuff because I'll just be changing people's batteries every other weekend. <laughs> Probably their their tires too. So I shouldn't have put you on my Instagram stories, what you're saying? <laughs> oh shoot, oh well. I can take it down if you want. No, it's all good, just as long as they buy me lunch and some gas every time. <laughs> you could make it into a side business. Hey, Tim Needler cuts hair like every five minutes on our hallway. I'm just changing <laughs> somebody's battery like every 10 minutes. <laughs> This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It is. We're blessed. Well, hello there, all of you lovely adventurers. Today we're out at uh, Cataloochee Valley. It's part of Great Smoky Mountains National Park and we're here to see elk. Um, pretty cool thing. Actually, a lot of people don't know that elk is actually a native species in North Carolina. I guess at one point their population dwindled down a lot in the 20th century. So in 2001, they were reintroduced here to this valley and they're amazing. So we're gonna go see the elk and go see the bears. Hopefully, hopefully bears. We like seeing bears on the channel. So anyway, let's hop to it. This is Dylan and this is the first time he's waited for me to catch up with him since we've been dating. I didn't know this video was gonna be just a shame fest. <laughs> anyway, we're at Cataloochee Valley. We've uh, never been here before. But uh, anyway, it's actually part of the national park system, uh, which is weird to us because it's like on the far, sar yeah. it's on the far southeastern side of the park, which is a part of the park we've never been to before. I just haven't spent much that, I can't talk. Are you going to use this? Turkeys! Look at them! Oh, they look very happy. Babe. Oh wow, they're getting married. Babe, we're getting married. They're getting married right here. We're gonna do that. Oh, oh heck. Oh, heck. She's right there. Oh, wait, there's more of them. There's multiple weddings going on. There are multiple weddings. It's, it's like Las Vegas, where it's like a drive through wedding. But if you want to be classy about it, you come here for it. All right, so we're gonna go see the elk now. They're right over here. Um, but anyway, this is just one of the great reasons of the 24 to 70, as I can just leave this lens on the camera the whole time, jump out of the car, and know that I have a good chance at taking pictures of everything. You know, schoolhouse over here, and then also be able to zoom in and get, you know, decent shots of the elk as well. So anyway, we're going to be very quiet, and we're going to get closer. But not too close, because apparently they can be a little bit aggressive. So let's go do it. I'm going to pet them.
think we got kind of lucky uh, because you're technically not allowed to enter the fields, at least according to the signs, you're not allowed to enter the fields when the, the elk are here. We got lucky because we were able to come in the side. We're not in the field, but we're way, way closer to the elk than they are over there. So we got lucky. This is awesome. Sponsor us, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I was just about to say that. that this episode of Adventures with Bill is sponsored by Chick-fil-A. Um, mac and cheese is probably going to be kind of cold. This will be an experiment. We, I don't think anybody's found out if mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A is any good when it's cold. It's going to be great. You think so? Yeah. Okay, I guess we'll find out. Oh, and this is... This is our view, so yes, Chick-fil-A. You have never had anybody eat food from your restaurant in such a magnificent place before. The verdict is even cold. It is very good. Well done, Chick-fil-A. Anyway, we're going to take pictures of this here woman. So, of course, earlier we were saying that the 24 to 70 is great at being a convenient lens, of course. Uh, but now that we have, you know, the time to just take our time and uh, make some nice pictures, you know, take some like portraits, uh, the thing to do is to definitely pull out the prime lenses because my 35 and my 85 at 1.8 is going to be far, far more interesting than the 24 to 70 is, you know, at the same focal lengths, but at f 2.8 makes it makes a huge difference. So anyway, um, she is beautiful, and Thank I you. love her. Uh, so I'm going to put on the 35 millimeter and take some pictures of her. This house. Whose house is it? I think it's called Caldwell. I think I made that up. Did you read that somewhere? I think that's the name of it. Always a little scared to look inside old structures like this out in a place like this. I'm always a little scared I'm gonna find something or someone. Oh wow. Amazing. It's a mustache. Very artsy, babe. What do you want? Um, so there's these cool branches up here and then the house back there. So uh, what I'm gonna have uh, I'm going to have Lakin walk down this little pathway here towards me, and we'll frame up everything with the, uh, uh, I can't even see that. We'll frame up everything with the 24 millimeter. Um, <gasps> I don't know, babe. Oh, he's got a paintball gun. Oh. <laughs>
if you get video, I'm gonna get some photos right now. This is gonna be amazing. Hey, buddy. Bye. That was magical. Oh, well, heck. That was awesome. That's all she wrote, folks. Well, assuming we don't see anything else cool on the way out. Uh, this was Catalucci Valley. Uh, I, Nolan, if you're out there, I agree with you that it, this is one of the best locations in the Southeast. Uh, I can't believe I've never been here before, especially considering the fact it is a part of the Smokies. Uh, but yeah, really awesome. Got to see the elk up close, way closer than I was expecting to. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the photos. All right. And with that, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> that was smooth.